recent report from the British Ministry of Defense, MOD Intelligence Service, published on September 23, 2024, indicates a dramatic escalation in Russia's use of one-way attack uncrewed aerial vehicles, or UA versus, against Ukraine. In September alone, Russia launched over 1,300 OYUA versus, marking the highest monthly total since the conflict began. This trend suggests a growing reliance on drone warfare as a pivotal component of Russia's military strategy, with forecasts indicating that October 2024 may see even higher numbers. The MOD warns that the rate of OYUAV operations is likely to increase, as intelligence reports suggest Moscow is enhancing its domestic production capabilities for these drones. Historically reliant on Iranian-supplied UAVs, Russia appears to be pivoting towards self-sufficiency to mitigate risks associated with international sanctions and supply chain vulnerabilities. This strategic shift not only aims to bolster Russia's offensive capabilities, but also reflects a longer-term commitment to sustaining its aerial assaults on Ukrainian targets. OYUA versus, often referred to as kamikaze drones, primarily target critical infrastructure in Ukraine, particularly energy facilities. With their low cost and ability to penetrate deep into enemy territory, these drones have become effective tools for disrupting energy supplies and damaging essential civilian infrastructure. As winter approaches, such attacks pose significant risks to Ukraine's energy resilience, putting immense pressure on its air defense systems, which must counter both conventional missile threats and swarming drone assaults. Among the various OWA drones deployed in the conflict, several models stand out due to their unique specifications. Shahid-136, Garand-2, developed in Iran, this drone features a delta-wing design and is a workhorse in Russia's drone strategy. With a range of approximately 2,500 kilometers and a warhead weighing 40 to 50 kilograms, it is designed for attacking static targets like infrastructure and supply depots. Its relatively low speed, about 185 kilometers per hour, is offset by the ability to launch large swarms, complicating interception efforts by defense systems. Shahid-131, Garan-1 a smaller variant of the Shahid-136, the Shahid-131 carries a lighter payload of 10 to 15 kilograms and has a reduced range of 900 kilometers. This drone is typically employed for shorter-range strikes against military targets. Lancet drone, developed by Zala Aero, Russia's domestically produced Lancet drone boasts advanced targeting capabilities. It can carry a payload of up to 3 kilograms and is designed for tactical strikes on specific targets, including artillery and vehicles. With a range of 40 kilometers and a speed of around 110 kilometers per hour, the Lancet's modular design allows for versatile applications in both surveillance and attack missions. Each of these drones plays a critical role in Russia's operational strategy, particularly in exhausting Ukraine's air defense resources and forcing the diversion of attention from other missile threats. Despite numerous interceptions by Ukrainian defenses, the low cost and mass deployment of these drones present a persistent and evolving threat. The surge in drone attacks raises alarm bells in Kiev and among Ukraine's Western allies. Continuous strikes on energy infrastructure threaten widespread blackouts, severely affecting civilian life and military operations. As the harsh winter looms, damage to power stations and other utilities could exacerbate humanitarian challenges for those already impacted by the war. In response, Ukraine has urgently requested advanced air defense systems from Western allies to better intercept these UAV threats. Simultaneously, Ukrainian forces are adapting their tactics, employing electronic warfare and anti-drone systems to counter the evolving aerial landscape. As Russia intensifies its OYUAV campaign, Ukraine faces mounting pressure on multiple fronts. The British MOD's report underscores the unprecedented scale of these attacks and the potential for further escalation as Russia ramps up domestic production capabilities. The coming months are poised to be critical in this protracted conflict with both sides vying for an advantage in a war of attrition.